Hello, teachers. Welcome to the class C4 Forest Mini. So, in this class, students will be introduced to the key press and touching color events with the when press and touching color blocks, respectively. They will use the concept and code blocks learned to create a maze game in which the actor, Knight, is controlled using the arrow keys to navigate inside the maze to reach the destination. So in this class, they will be introduced to these three blocks. The first one is the event block that identifies when the special, special specified key is pressed, for example, up, down, arrow keys. The next thing that they will learn in this class is to indicate touching of the specified color. Also, set the location of an actor to the location that is specified, either by the mouse pointer another actor, etc. These are some of the vocabulary that you need to use in this class so that the students are well aware and they can also use it up. So you can start with first revising what they have done in the previous class. So in the previous class, they were introduced to the concept of moving an actor in different directions by pointing towards the specific direction before moving. They had also learned to identify the event of an actor that is touching event they also created a dodge game over there, okay, where in the kingdom of Cordelia, the dragon dodged the monster bird to reach the light. So you can, after revising this concept to them, you can go ahead with the forest maze. Okay, this is what they had done in the previous class. You can ask them questions regarding this. What were the winning and the losing condition that they had used in this? After that, this is what they are going to do today. So the magical gem must be kept safe from the enemy. So the secret chamber deep in the forest is an excellent place to hide that. So let's help the knight navigate the strong walls and reach the secret chamber. So the first thing is the students need to explore the activity. So you can ask the students to share their screen and they can see, they can observe what's happening over here. And they can, you know, relate and tell you what is happening. So they can see that the knight moves with the arrow keys. Okay, well, like when you click the up, down, right, left. So the knight would navigate. And also they would see that when the knight touches the wall, the knight come back to its original position. Okay, that is on the log. So this is another thing. Also, here you have to understand the winning condition. That when the knight will reach the door over there, the blue color one, this one, then the screen changes. It says you did it. That is me. That means it's a winning condition. Okay. So this all things they need to observe. They can play this, and they can observe it carefully. So with the help of the arrow keys, the knight is moving up, down, right, left. So there are three missions for the code. So first is move, moving the knight with the help of the arrow keys up, down, right, left. The second is the knight touches the wall. If he touches it, he comes back to the original position. And the third, when he reaches the door, the screen changes. So all these three missions need to be completed. So the student first has to identify the different elements that are present in the game. So there are obstacles. There is an ending point, that means there is a goal which the knight has to reach. The knight is a player, he's an actor. Also, there is a starting point, which are the logs. Okay, so all these elements of the game, the student needs to recognize, needs to identify. Now, you need to make them understand that there are two rules of the game. One is winning game and the other is restart. Okay, so basically what happens is, you can see in the first window, as soon as the knight touches any of the wall, he's coming back to the original position. And the winning condition is when he reaches the door. Okay, so it says, thank you, Jam. So let's start with the first mission. So over here, what we just have to do is we have to move the knight. Okay. So with the help of the arrow keys, we are going to move the knight. So this, these are the arrow keys, okay, which we'll be using up, down, right, and left. So when we press them, the knight has to move. So the code block that we are going to use over here is the key press event. Okay, that will make the knight move. So you can see when up arrow pressed. 
similarly you know it will be like up down and all of it so let's learn through an fun activity how will you code to make the knight move towards the sword for example okay so the students need to answer this that they have to use the point towards bottom edge and move by 10 pixels okay so if they remember in the previous class also they had done something like this okay where you know when the dragon was moving with the arrow keys okay with the pointing of your mouse and the monster was following it okay so how did you make the dragon you can ask the students that how did you make the dragon and the monster word move in the last class so they can answer this by saying that the dragon followed the mouse pointer where else the monster followed the dragon to catch it so for the first thing we use a point towards mouse pointer so with your mouse the dragon would move and point towards dragon that means the monster for the monster you have to do point towards the dragon so it will automatically move towards the dragon okay so here to move the actor we used both this condition so over here point towards move with 10 pixels okay so over here similarly we make the knight move in all the direction up down left right okay with 10 pixels okay so let's you can start with teacher activity 1 with the student you can share your screen and show them how to do this activity okay so you can read this out for them code to make the knight move when arrow keys are pressed you can show them the sample project through your that you know they can see and it will be like a good revision for them there are two things that you have to do over here in this mission you will move the knight left and move him in the right okay so code to animate the knight con continuously is given okay so this is what is already given that forever the animation of run is given to the knight so if you click on next what need, what you need to do is you have to take this drag and drop when press block in the knight coding area so knight is here so in the coding area we have taken this click on the empty box inside the when press and select left arrow from the drop down list now to this we have to attach the move block to the when press block and set any value so i'm going to attach this and i'm going to set for example 20 okay you can attach 10 20 30 of your choice you can just Try this code. So now see when the left key is pressed, you will see that means move it, right? Okay. So let's move ahead. After this, you can click on next. Now because the knight is not pointing towards the left, okay, we need to code to point the knight towards the left. Okay, so he has to point. He is moving, but he is not pointing towards the left. So for that, we will be attaching this. Okay. so attach the point block point towards block to the when press block above the move block so this has to be above the move block okay so click on the empty box inside the point towards block and select the option left edge from the drop list so we'll select that let's try the code okay now see when he is now see is pointing towards the left and also moving towards the left okay this is how you have to do it let's click on next now copy the knight right when right arrow key is pressed copy and paste the current code block okay so select the block by clicking on the dot at the top left of the when press block as shown so see they have shown you over here these are the three dots okay over here when you will bring your cursor you can see the three dots you can click on the block and right click after that you have to right click you'll get copy option you can click on that after that again you have to right click and paste it so you will see another set being created now here you have to do for the right so here you will select the right arrow similarly it should point towards right that is it should be towards right. okay so you have done this let's click on next okay so these are the codes you can match them they are perfect So you can try the code. So now see, he goes in the right, left is pointing properly, right? Correct. So you can check this out with the student. Okay. You can click on done and save it.
So in mission one, you can stop sharing your screen. Ask the student to share the screen, and they have to do the same thing. Okay, so you can ask the student to do the same. Okay, so you can quickly summarize with them what they have done and the blocks that they have used. So they use the when pressed, that is a arrow. So it, it was an event block that activates when a selected key is pressed. Then they use the point towards, so point and actor towards the specified edges, either left or right. Also move by 10 pixels, this moves the actor, okay? So you can also give them the example of the uh, key press in real life. For example, you click on the enter button or when you have to switch on the lights, you click on the button to switch on and off. Even when you have to on the television, so you use a remote, so you press the key to on the television. So you can give them different examples. Also ask them to give some day-to-day -day life examples to make it more interesting. So now you can congratulate them for completing the mission one and ask them to move to the next mission. But before that, they have to answer some of the MCQ. So you can ask them to read the question. So the first one is which code block is used to move the knight downwards? So the correct answer is the fourth. Because when down arrow is pressed, it is in the bottom edge, right? So it will move by 40 pixels. Then you can move to the next mission, which is when the knight touches the wall, okay? So now you have to again show them that what happens when the knight touches the wall, when he's touching the wall, he's coming back to the log, okay? That is to the starting position again. So how can we check if the knight hits the wall? Okay, that would be the first question that you can ask them. So here we can use this block that when the touch event occurs, okay? So when this occurs, what it has to do is it has, there are some obstacles, wall one, wall two, wall three, wall four, wall five, and so on. So for every wall, when the knight touches, it will, it will be too long if we code, right? So there should be some easy way. So if you see all of these, there should be something common in them. And what is common in them is the color, okay? Because all the walls are made up of same color. So instead of, you know, creating and, you know, when, when the knight is touching wall one, wall two, wall three, and so on, we can say when the knight touches the specified color, that is of the wall, okay? So you can select, use the color palette to select the color of the wall, okay? So when it will touch that color, what should happen? It will come back to its original position that are on the log. So, that, so the knight should go back to the log, which is the starting point of the game, okay? So you will use this go to and select the log, okay? So then you can show them this by doing the second activity with them. So let's try out the second activity of the second mission. So here, our main mission is to restart the game, right? So you can play this sample project for them so that they can see it and it will be a good revision for them. So now what we have to do is code to restart the game when the knight touches the wall. So how to identify if the knight touches any of the walls? It is by the color, okay? So we, will, we have to drag and drop the when occurs block in the knight coding area. So this is already selected over here. So we, have, we are coding over here. Now we have to attach the touching which color over here, okay? And from the palette, we have to select the color, okay? So the code will be automatically taken, okay? So what should happen when the knight touches this color, right? So we after that, what it has to do is it has to go back. Where it has to go back? To its original position. So for that, we will use the go to block. We click inside this and select the log so that it can come back to its original position that is on the log, okay? Now see the code, it looks similar. Check this one and then try the code, okay? So let's make it move up. Let it go up, 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 okay? Let it go on the right then. So when it is going on the right, after going on the right, when it touches the log, if it touches that particular color, okay? See, it come back to its original position. That means it's working all correct, okay? So you can save this and you can go ahead with your Next activity. Okay, so same thing they have to do in their event, in their activity, but before then you can revise with them and check that if they understood both the blocks, that when, why are we using touching color that we don't have to repeatedly use, you know, when it touch the wall one, wall two, wall three. So we are just 
identifying the common thing between them that is the color so when it touches the color it goes back okay where does it goes back so you have to use go to block for that and specify the position where it, where it has to go back so in the mission 2 students activity link they are performing the same activity now they have completed the mission 2 so you can congratulate them give them their hats off emoji and move them to the question okay which is the mcq question so which code block will work best to check if the turtle hits the obstacle so you can ask them this question and the correct answer is the color the black thing as you can see the all the obstacles are black in color so that is how they are trying to take that okay also they have another question choose the correct block to check if an actor is touching another actor okay so here we aren't using color we are using one actor to another actor so it is the first answer yeah the first one now they are going to move to the third mission which is you know when the actor touches the door so what happens when the actor touches the door so he has reached the goal okay so it says thank you champ yeah so it is an appreciation that we need to change so here the basically the screen is changing okay so this is like a winning condition that the actor has reached the destination the goal okay so we can win the game only when the knight reaches the door so we have to make the knight and the door disappear and there is a switch in the background so everything is disappearing and a new background is coming which says thank you champ so we have to do that so this is an event a winning event so when the knight touches the door what happens first of all we have to hide the actor and also there is a switch in the background and the background is the win background okay so this is explained here very you know easily that how to create this win condition so the students have to do this okay the teacher doesn't perform this activity so how to do it we can just see it over here so again we have to follow the tutorial you can ask them to see this so here we when the knight touches the door we have to switch the background hide the knight and hide the door okay so we how to do it so we'll again take when a curve block okay in this we are going to put the touching okay this is not the color touching this is when it touches the door so you have to select the door over here and here what are we doing we are switching the background and we are showing the winning condition right so we are going to add this okay so when the knight touches the door the knight is selected here when he touches the door what should occur there should be a switch in the background which is the winning code okay so you can just try it out okay so let's try it out so let's you know take the knight towards it towards the door without touching so you can ask the student you know to try this game it will be fun for them okay because they will get you know idea that you know how when it touches how it is moving up down right left they can you know explore while playing this game it might be that you know they might you know touch the wall or something but it's okay let them do that you know and let them explore it out so that they will get in practice and they'll understand how the game is working and once they reach the wall so see once they are reaching the wall still you can see the knight okay over here and the gate okay so they have the coding is not yet finished right so for that they have to code so they have to hide those things okay so you can teach them to hide as well so how to hide it using the hide they can hide okay so here they have to hide the knight so they are attaching hide block to the switch to background okay and now see what will happen they have already done this okay after that but over here again if you want you can ask them to play touching the door okay so we have to select the block by clicking on the dot on the left of the when touching block okay so you can click over here right click drag and drop it onto the door actor as shown okay so what you can do is you can just click drag and drop it over here okay so you can see here already for the night it is there when you click on the thing here also you will have the okay so we have already taken this particular thing when the do, when the when such door occurs so we have to switch the background and we have to hide now similarly we have to code for the door as well so what you can do is just take it and just drag it over here so automatically you can see in the night also this block is there 
and you will see in the this area also this particular block has come okay now we have to code to hide the door so the drag and drop code is now in the in this section but it says door okay so change the value from the door to the night okay so when the night is touching block it becomes so then we have to hide it okay so now you can see these all blocks are already there so now let's try the code okay so now the night if you see the night will run towards the goal so it will run towards the goal without touching any of the colors that are there that are the obstacles that are there and it has to reach the goal so it is moving towards the goal and once it touches the goal you can see now we cannot see the door also we cannot see the night and the new screen has come this is what they have to do in this particular activity so once they complete with the mission you can congratulate them for completing the mission as well as you can tell them give them that big hat box and the emojis congratulate them and move ahead you can ask them this multiple choice question you can ask them to read it and answer it so which code block is used to make an actor disappear so it is the hide block that we use next you can talk to them about the project that that they are going to do okay so you have to help the turtle year swim okay by dodging the obstacles so there are obstacles which the turtle has to dodge in. so you can tell them speak to them about it then later you can quickly revise the concept with them you can you know ask them open ended question over here that why are we using the touching color block why did we use the go to block and you can get the answer for them if they don't answer you can you know staff told them or give them some hints so that you know they can come to the answer if you have to you know whichever blocks we have used you can revise with them completely and give them a quick summary of the blocks that they have used then uh, here they have to add a sound okay so in uh, so basically they uh, what they have to do over here is they need to add a sound to the background there is a music which they need to add okay so let us try it out so they have to continue here there is no link for this activity okay they have to continue in the same project that they were doing in student activity number 3 over here so if you click next over here you will get this okay so add background music there is a sound music that they need to add so code to add background music to make the game more interesting okay so you have to go to the start button okay so when the game start itself okay you have to add the sound you will go to the stage area you will take the on start event okay and play the sound okay now here you have to add the sound so they are adding the adventure sound if the student want to you know add any other sound you can ask them to add it it's okay okay and they can explore it out and they can ask so you can hear the sound in the background this is what they have to do in this particular activity okay so this is what how they so from the start when the stage itself open the music would be played the sound will be added so this was their first student uh, first additional activity now we have to you know make the night more expressive in the additional activity number 2 so when you have to code the night to say ouch when he touches the wall okay so the the could you know uh, when the night would come back to the original position of the lock he would say out okay so we are going to add this so let's see how are we going to do this so you can ask the student to open the link and try doing it out okay so already they have to make the night talk so here are the instructions okay so to for to make the night talk when he touches the wall okay so when he touches the wall this thing is happening so attach the save block to the when touch coloring event okay so you have to see the when touch coloring event is over here okay so you have to attach this block below the go to block so take this and attach attach it over here so see your certain out so it says out right so we have to add say block okay so that he keep saying that also we have to attach this block in the start of the game because there are some instructions like navigate the night through the maze using arrow keys 
because when someone opens this game he has to understand what he has to do right so for that you have to give the instruction okay like what it has to do so you have will go to stage okay in this area you will attach this block okay to you know to give the instruction that you know like you can come over here take this block okay so whatever instruction you would like to give so if you want to give you know this instruction or if the students wants to write any instruction of their choice they can write that as well so as of now i am just writing over here the instruction that says navigate the light through the main using arrow and in the next instruction here i am going to write avoid the strong wall okay let's see how it works okay. so i'm going to expand it so avoid the strong so it's giving us you know that the thing now see when i stop and i on it again navigate the night through the maze using the key avoid the strong wall so this is how it will give you what you have to do in the start the instruction so you can tell them that next time what they are going to do in the class they are going to create a dodge game to help the knight reach the castle avoiding the arrows okay so you can see that the arrows it is moving uh, you know it is randomly moving here and there and when the knight reaches the castle something like you know comes up on the screen that congratulates that shows a winning condition that you have saved the knight to so create an excitement for them for the next class you can thank them for joining that's all they have to do in the forest maze class thank you teachers